Let's discuss the man-to-man -man marking soccer term. There are two main types of defensive strategies. Soccer man marking versus zonal marking. Zonal marking is covering attackers that are in your area. Soccer man marking is having a specific player of the opposing team to mark anytime the other team has the ball. In professional soccer, man marking is reserved for soccer's best players like Ronaldo, Messi, Mbappe, or Holland. However, man marking is often not used as an overarching defensive strategy strategy for professional teams because it's too easy for the attacking team to rotate their players around a formation and cause a lot of the defending team to be out of position. Therefore, if you're interested in man marking for your team, it's best to assign one of the outside defenders or center defensive midfielder this role to stick like glue to the other team's best player. And only when the other team has an outstanding player. Man marking in soccer is more commonly seen in set pieces because there's less space to cover during a corner kick or free kick. Also, if opposing players from the other team are interchanging, it's usually within a 10-yard area. A darting run to the near post, for example. Some coaches of youth players prefer man marking because of its simplicity to implement and teach. Man marking allows each player to know exactly which opposing player they're responsible for when they're taking either a set piece or during the entire match if your team chooses to use man marking. When it comes to man-to-man -man marking, consider these things. One, prevent the opposing player from getting the ball. The other team's best player is often the one that's the most dangerous when the ball is at their feet. Therefore, step in front of passes, press them hard, and have supporting defenders come to help. Two, push the attacker to the correct portion of the field. And could you give this video a like? Push them towards their weak foot when they're towards the middle of the field. Otherwise, push them out of bounds when they're along a sideline. By the way, I'm Dylan Joseph, soccer trainer and number one best-selling Amazon author. Three, use your arms. Referees don't often whistle you when your forearms are on the defender. Therefore, push the attacker off balance as they receive passes. And drive your forearm into their backside to prevent them from turning when their back is facing your neck.